Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Arden. <laughs> Today, I'm going to be sharing with you my three favorite healthy recipes, all based around bananas. I have like a major sweet tooth, I love sweet treats, and I really like want to have dessert every night, but dessert is not really the healthiest thing for you, so I try not to eat dessert every night, but when I'm really craving something, there are three recipes that I love. Not only are they healthy, but they're super sweet and super yummy, and they have no sugar added, unless you count the chocolate chips, but like... That's okay. <laughs> so the first recipe that I'm going to be making are banana protein pancakes. These pancakes are an amazing breakfast because they're super healthy but they're also super yummy. Okay, so I'm going to start by peeling my banana. Make sure that you compost this peel because you know we gotta save the planet. <laughs> Um, okay, now I'm going to put it in the bowl and now I'm going to mash it. Woohoo! Alright, so now that my banana is mashed, I'm going to add in my two eggs. And now we are going to whisk these up. It's really important that you get these well mixed because if you don't, little parts of the egg whites could cook in the pancakes and they could cook separately from the banana and then it's like half omelet half pancake and trust me you don't want that it's not good okay that looks pretty good to me now we are going to go ahead and add i think i'm going to add a tablespoon of protein powder Now I'm not going to measure my pumpkin pie spice, I'm just going to put a dash of it. Do whatever you think feels good. Do extra if you really want to taste that spice-y flavor. Alright, so now that I've finished mixing my batter, I'm going to preheat my griddle to 325 degrees and then we'll go ahead and make our pancakes. Alright, so now that my griddle is preheated, I can finally put my pancakes on the... On the the griddle, the cooktop. Finally put them on the heat. All right, so I'm taking this little measuring cup thingy that I got here. It's like about two tablespoons, I think. And I'm going to pour my batter on. That looks amazingly beautiful. Now that I have finished making the pancakes, I'm going to plate them and we're going to try them. So I want to start out with, by putting some peanut butter on them because I feel like this makes them taste really good. I'm using chunky peanut butter because I like chunky more. Alright, so now that my peanut butter is on my pancakes, I'm going to sprinkle on some chocolate chips because, come on, everything's better with chocolate chips. We'll just do a few. There we go. Perfect. All right. Now it's time to try them. Okay guys, time to try them. I'm so excited. This looks so good. Like honestly, I feel like this is the best that they've ever looked before. So I'm really excited. Let's try a bite. Okay, three, two, one. Mmm. Oh my god, it's so good. These are delicious. They're literally bananas and eggs. How do they taste as good? Okay, I'm gonna finish these and then we'll come back and make our next recipe. <laughs> Alright guys, so the second recipe that we are going to be making today is a healthy banana mug cake. 
This is like my favorite dessert. I probably have it like every single week night because <laughs> it's so good. I'm going to start by peeling my banana. All right, so once I put my banana in, I'm going to mash it. These bananas that I'm using today are like beautiful. They're so gorgeous. I sound like a fruit expert. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to add in the rest of my wet ingredients, which are almond milk and then peanut butter. We are going to add in a tablespoon of each. Actually, we're gonna go for two tablespoons of almond milk and then a tablespoon of peanut butter. Now we are going to mix this together. All right, now that I got it all mixed together, we are going to add in our dry ingredients. I'm going to add in a tablespoon of protein powder and we are going to add in a tablespoon of flour. All right, that looks good to me. Now we are going to add in the oats. I'm going to put in three tablespoons, maybe more. It depends on how oaty you want your mug cake. All right, that looks great. Now the final ingredient, of course, chocolate chips. All right, so now that everything is thoroughly combined, grab your favorite mug and a spatula. All right, so I'm using this peacock mug from Target. I think it's super cute. Let's pour our batter into the mug. All right, so now that my batter is in my mug, I'm going to put it in the microwave for one minute, open the door, let out some steam, put it in for 30 seconds, let out some more steam, and then after 30 more seconds, it should be ready. I'll see you guys in three, two, one. <laughs> my mug cake's done. <laughs> okay, so now that my mug cake, how oh, it's hot. Be careful, it's really hot. I'm gonna get a napkin. Okay, here we go. Now that my mug cake is done. Whoa. Wow, I'm a hot mess right now. Okay. All right, guys, it's time to try it. Look at this. Mm. It looks a bit mushy, but trust me, it's delicious. It was so good. I like don't get how it's like pretty much healthy other than the chocolate chips. It tastes like super chocolatey banana bread. That's maybe a little bit underdone, which I feel like, is, like it just tastes so good. I'm gonna finish this off. I'll see you guys for the final recipe. All right, it's time for the third and final recipe. We're going to be making peanut butter banana nice cream. So nice cream is ice cream but it's healthy and it usually is gluten-free and dairy-free and vegan also. So for this nice cream, you will need peanut butter, chocolate chips, almond milk or your choice of milk, and frozen bananas. So when you're freezing your bananas, you wanna make sure that you peel the bananas, cut the bananas, and then you can freeze them on a piece of parchment paper on a baking sheet. Believe me, I've tried to freeze just a banana in the peel. Um, it didn't turn out so good. The banana turned into like a brown mushy mess and it was disgusting. So definitely do it this way. <laughs> this is two bananas worth of banana slices. I'm going to put all of them into my little blender thingy. All right, so now we are going to put in two tablespoons of peanut butter. Finally, I'm going to add in a fourth of a cup of almond milk. All right, now we are going to blend it on high speed. 
until I'm, I'm reading off a recipe by the way. Um, we're gonna blend it until a smooth consistency is formed. If things are too thick, add a little bit more almond milk. That's some good advice. All right. Ugh. I'm nervous. Ready? We are going to stir the chocolate chips in. All right, so now I'm going to add my mixture to a parchment lined baking pan. We're going to pour it in. Also, before I freeze it, I'm going to sprinkle a, a little bit of chocolate chips on the top just to like make it look extra cute. So we'll just... Hey guys. It's two hours later and my ice cream is ready. I haven't looked at it yet, but I'm, I'm really excited. So let's get it out. Okay, here it is. Oh my God, okay, wait, it actually looks really good. So this is what it looks like. I'm gonna get out a little bowl. Okay, so this is our new angle. Hopefully it's not that bad. I'm going to start scooping it. I'm nervous. Uh -huh. Ooh. Mm, look at that. A lovely scoop. Okay, I'm gonna put this back in the freezer and then we're gonna try it. Okay guys, here is our finished product. It looks good. It's a little bit melty. I probably could have frozen it for a little bit longer, but let's try it. It like looks like ice cream. It's kind of weird. Why did I just blow on it? That was so weird. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Wait. It tastes like peanut butter banana ice cream. It's so creamy. That is so good. Well, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, don't forget to like, drop it, and subscribe to my channel. I know that I definitely had a lot of fun filming this and eating all of the yummy treats. So <laughs> yeah, I love you guys so much. Peace out.